All right, so in the last video we did uh, we did a little bit with the actual voiceover waveform. We did a multiband compressor, hard limiter. We kind of polished that uh, that voiceover up a little bit. So in this video we're going to talk about the multi-track session, uh, adding music and sound effects and stuff like that. And I'm just going to kind of walk you through this a little bit. Um, so let's go over to the screen here. So here's the multi-track session in Adobe Audition. Again, that's what we're using here uh, to get there. Uh, you're gonna it's going to default to the waveform view. So you just go on up here, click on multi-track. Uh, I believe you can also maybe do this. I'm not really sure. Anyway, on some on an older version, I know you have to go up here uh, and go to the. Anyway, get to the multi-track. You'll <laughs> you'll find it out one way or the other. So over here on my left side are some different elements that I found. So uh, here's my uh, original voiceover, the the 20k cash giveaway voiceover right here. Eagle Radio and whole broadcast. There you go. There's uh, the voiceover right there. And then there's some different elements. So we subscribe to a, um, our company subscribes to uh, to a, a music production service that provides us music beds and sound effects and things like that. Um, I will caution, I know there's some free stuff out there. Be careful about that because some of it's not to be used for commercial use. And uh, one thing I'll tell you is definitely don't use someone else's music like don't go and, and use Stairway to Heaven from Led Zeppelin, okay? That's a recipe for uh, for getting sued or at least getting a cease and desist on stuff. So don't do that. You can't use copyrighted material within a uh, within a commercial of any kind, okay? So I'll caution you on that. That's my disclaimer right there. Don't do that. And yes, it does happen. Yes, people find out, and yes, uh, they will sometimes send you something. All right, so back here. So these are some elements that I pulled out uh, from, that I've downloaded and pulled from our music bed library. So this is... Um, a music bed that I found that I was like, oh yeah, let's bump in. There we go. All right, so we're gonna be working with that. We got um, a chainsaw. Got to have a chainsaw sound effect, right? I'm just gonna clip that a little bit. And again, to like, um, you can kind of clip things by by clicking and dragging. You can also do some cuts and stuff like that. We're not. We're gonna get into that a little bit more. Cutting your waveforms and multi-track on the next one. But for now, just know that you can do that. Okay. We got a chainsaw, I think I have like a cash register here, and um, I think there's like a slot machine sound, so we're just going to kind of mess with these sounds. Alright, so uh, everything's open right now, you can mute and solo things as you see fit. But what I'm going to do on this, I know that this is going to start with, um, with some sound effects, right? So these are my different layers of sound effects, right? So if I have them all going at once on all these different tracks, because here's one track, this is my voiceover, here's my music, here's a sound effect, here's a sound effect, here's a sound effect. You can play them all at the exact same time. See that? How that works? Okay. Um, that's kind of the idea, is, is trying to grab these, click them and drag them, and put them in the right places to make sense. So I know I'm going to start this with the uh, chainsaw sound effect, and this is my biggest part of my waveform, so I assume that that is a big chainsaw sound. Let's see. My kids are running around in the other room. Live from the bedroom. Okay, so that's my chainsaw because the script starts with um, that we're trimming the money tree or something like that. So I figured let's start with that and we can have some cash register and some slot machine payout sound effects. Let's see here. So I just grab this volume button and if you go to the right, it goes up to plus 15. If you go to the other side, you can to the left, you can take it down so it's non-existent. So I'm going to bring that sound up about, about 5 dB or so. And I'm always keeping an eye down here. This is your output meter right here. So you don't ever want it to get into the red clipping stuff here. Let's see if I can actually just get there by playing here. That's pretty close right there. There's a clip right there. So you want to kind of, you want to be, you know, mindful of that. You don't want it clipping up here, so adjust your volumes accordingly. But let's see what this sounds like. Okay, and we're going to move that back a little bit. We got a cash register sound. Let's pull that up a little bit. Let's bring that up by about 3 dB. Okay, so we got some cash registers. Got all sorts of things happening there. It's a, yeah, it's a typical <laughs> radio commercial promo. Way too much stuff going on. Uh, all right, gonna probably annoy the listener. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab my uh, this uh, this time selector up here, and I'm gonna go to about right here on this chainsaw sound effect. Now I have that track selected. Make sure you select the track that you're gonna cut, because I'm gonna do a little cut right here. I'm gonna do a split, 
and then I'm going to get rid of the rest of this stuff because I don't need this whole thing. I just need a little bit at the beginning. So I'm just going to select right there on the track. I'm going to go either Control or Command K and that will split it. So now I have two parts right here and this stuff right here, I'm going to select this. I don't want any of that. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to hit delete. Get rid of that. All right. That is now gone. Now up here on Adobe Audition, you also have the ability to grab this sucker right here and to fade out your sound. I don't like I don't like sounds cutting off very harshly for the most part, so I, I usually try to do a small fade um, so that it's a little more pleasing to the ear. So I'm going to grab this little box, click on it, and you can see I can fade this linear way. I can do it linear. I can kind of shape the way it's going to fade by going up and down, but for the most part I just want a, a short little fade right at the end, right there, okay? And let's take a listen here from the beginning, see what it sounds like. Something like that. Let's double up that cash register. We need two cash registers, right? Okay, so I'm going to select the cash register right here. I'm going to go copy, Apple copy, control copy, whatever. And then I'm going to paste it with uh, V, Apple V, control V, what, or command, whatever. Whatever. All right, so now we got two cash registers back to back. It's going to be intense. Let's go back to the beginning. Very good. All sorts of sounds. Everything's going on at once. Great. So now I'm going to grab this waveform. This is about where I want to start it. Okay, somewhere around there. And I know I don't want my music to kick in until my first part. So I'm going to bring the music back a little bit there. And let's see how this sounds. Alright, so maybe I need a little more fade on the chainsaw. So I'm going to drag the chainsaw back out. And I'm going to go with a, kind of a linear fade right there. Because I want that voiceover to kind of go over the top of it while it's fading. Um, so okay, let's see what that sounds like. Let's go back here. Very good. All right, now we have two things going on here, right? My voiceover is not loud enough, so we need to crank that up. So let's grab this and let's move it up 5 dB because it's pretty quiet. Let's see what that sounds like. Maybe a little bit more on that voiceover. It's a pretty quiet voiceover right now, at least volume-wise. And now it's up there about 8 dB. Eagle Radio and whole broadcasting are trimming the money. All right, and that music bed is way too loud. You, typically, I find that you want to, depending on what you're doing with the commercial, you want your music bed to really, I'd say like, you know, 15 to 20 dB below where your voiceover is. I don't know, just use your ears. Do what sounds right to you, but I'm going to start this one. I'm going to drop it all the way down to 15, negative 15, negative 15 dB or thereabouts, and let's see. Eagle Radio and whole broadcasting are trimming the Okay, so that's too much, so now we're going to bring it back up. Let's take it to, um, uh, you can also type in this, by the way, in this little box right here. Let's go with negative 10, negative 10, and see what that sounds like. Broadcasting are trimming the money tree and giving you the chance to win $20,000 cash. That's a little more, that's a little closer to what I want. I'm going to take that up just a little bit. Let's go negative 7 dB. Let's see how that sounds. Eagle Radio and whole broadcasting are trimming the money tree and giving you the chance to win $20,000 cash. Very good. Yeah, I like that right there. Um, I think that's that's a good volume for it. So that's kind of the idea about a multi-track session, um, you know, kind of how to use that, kind of how to play around with those things. So I hope that helped a little bit there. Obviously, there's a lot of things you can click on and cut and do this and whatever, but uh, for the most part, you're just going to want to kind of click and drag things, try to time it out, listen to it over and over again, and just kind of get it where it's, you know, where it sounds right, where there's not too much time in between different elements. Uh, I'm not going to get too in-depth on this one right now because I'd probably spend another, you know, 15, 20 minutes kind of spacing things out, uh, but right now that gives you kind of a good idea. So in our next videos, um, I think we're going to look at, this is a common problem, especially in radio commercial production, is when you have too much copy. In other words, where you have to fit 35 seconds into a 30 second radio commercial. How do you do that? How do you adjust the voiceover? Are there some tricks you can do to be able to adjust that? We're going to tackle that in our next video. I'm going to show you some fun ways that you can do that. So until then, get in there, man. Get in there, record some stuff, play around, okay?